Uh, that Wonder Woman 84, which we know is dropping on Christmas. Some people already got their review up. I'm jealous. Um, <laughs> critics, uh, professional critics, which we are, but we ain't got a... Um, Industry critics, we'll say. <laughs> we just ain't selling out because we, we the hardcore critics, they don't want to give us the uh, movies early. We over here at the Epic <laughs> Entertainment Critics keep it real. <laughs> but no... Uh, <laughs> Well, no, some people already got their reviews up, but um, on Christmas Day, they will be releasing this on HBO Max, and um, we are going to rev- we're going to have our review up on Christmas. But um, they- our gift to you, yeah. <laughs> but they have released the first the opening scene for the Wonder Woman, and uh, I want to check this out to see what we got. It's only three minutes. I, I didn't think it was going to really spoil it because it's only three minutes. It's- right. The movie got to be two hours, you know. Right, right. So. Um, we're going to watch this little opening scene and um, see what, you know, what it looks like, what kind of feel we get from this movie. Or what, what, that's what I'm looking for, you yeah. know. And, uh, you know, directed by Patty Jenkins, starring Gal Gadot. Uh, like, I wasn't, I wasn't like, the trailer was okay. I, I, I didn't dislike it, but it, it didn't make me say, I got to see this, you know. That yeah, first one, the woman trailer, that, first that one was on hit. <laughs> this was, you know, this was good, but uh, let's see. So we're going to watch this first three minutes and see what it, uh, if it pulls me in. So uh, this is the Wonder Woman opening scene. Some days my childhood feels so very far away. And others, I can almost see it. The magical land of my youth, like a beautiful dream of when the whole world felt like a promise and the lessons that lay ahead yet unseen. Looking back, I wish I'd listened, wish I'd watched more closely and understood. But sometimes you can't see what you're learning until you come out the other side. seen this contest I'm believing the most seasoned warriors Diana I can do it just do your best and remember greatness is not what you think pace yourself and watch you dream of and more. And everything will be different. Those are cool. I like those. Animal print. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, I see they mixed that in with the yeah. trello scene, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, <laughs> Christian Wig is doing her act, <laughs> yeah. being funny or whatever. But yeah. I mean, you know, she's like she's the Selena Kyle character, basically, where she's a, a mousy assistant that's gonna get superpowers. That's uh, pretty much. Uh, but she's not. She she. Um, She's not gonna be able to pull off this sexy like Michelle Pfeiffer did when she got the no, catch. No, no. But <laughs> but then I I think part of it is the way they've decided to write her in this is to step away from the like sort of felonious sex appeal bit and mm-hmm. just more of a personal like an owning a personal power kind of thing, which I get, which works. Yeah. But see, I don't know the character that she is to begin with anyway, so I wouldn't, I, I can't critique it at all, because I was like, like, well, I don't know who she was, I mean, or who she is. Like, I I best know Cheetah as someone who hates Wonder Woman more than anyone on Earth. Right, I mean, I, just, I know her as one of her villains, but with I don't know. With moderate super nothing speed? Nothing about her. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> anyway, but, um. She's faster than Batman, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, he can still. <laughs> Take her easy. Anyway. <laughs> More ways than one. I <laughs> know. Batman like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Um, but he likes cats. Anyway. <laughs> so that's a, you know that's the opening scene where are they showing her as a kid. Yeah. That's like basically their version of the Olympics, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Uh, let that's me ask you something. Like. They showed the scene where she's on the highway running. Mm. And it looks like they used that... Um, Maybe they used the trick off from um, um, they did on Civil War where they using like a treadmill. It almost looked like she was floating. Yeah, it didn't look natural. Yeah, you're right. Uh, like, oh, was it was it just, was it just no, no. me? No, I think I think what it is is they've got her on a uh, they've got her on wires and a treadmill. Yeah, and so that way, if they need her to, she can turn and all that. And so, like it, like her gait doesn't look natural. I'm looking like you got technology. Now, you don't want to depend on that. You want it to be practical, too. If you can blend your tech and your your technology and your practical, you can make a, a real, a, something look so real. Yeah. But the thing is, if I can tell you're on a wire that's taking it away, taking away a, a little realism from me. Yeah. And when I saw that, even when she, because I remember sitting on another trailer when she kind of like flew up, it, it, Definitely looked like she got pulled up mm-hmm. by a wire, but I guess I, I can excuse that because maybe she's getting she's pulling herself on the lasso. Yeah, but uh, that running didn't look that good to me <laughs> <You> <laughs> as know, Wonder Woman when right. she was grown. You know, I think part of it is so one of the weaknesses of like sort of having to do any kind of replacement because what's probably happening is they're shooting her on a green screen. Yeah, and then they're shooting you know this convoy like just live action. So they had to rotor her in to the uh, rotoscope her into the shot. But see, you know what looks off to me? Her legs are pumping at a, a regular motion, and they got her moving past things that's moving so fast that it don't track because she your legs ain't casual. moving fast enough. She looks a little too casual. Right, but, but that's what I'm saying. They probably use her regular speed running, which could be fast. She yeah. looks athletic, so she could even... Running the fastest a human can fa- can go, but you it seems like they they just pushing her pulling her and you physically the, past these yeah, cars. And, and from a storytelling standpoint, like the storytelling of a shot, you lose the effort of it. Right, it, it just, just don't looks look like natural. she's breezing on by. Yeah, not like trying to keep up with anything. Yeah, they need to work on that effect. Even because I didn't like that in Civil War, where it didn't look right to me. It just yeah. looked off to me. Where it looked better because it didn't look like they was floating or nothing, mm-hmm. but it just that, that that running just looked so off to me that I just couldn't. That you know, with Civil War, you have the advantage of like with a character like Black Panther. Once you have him at speed, you can't really s- discern much. Well, they did it with Captain America, Black Panther, and um, yeah, and uh, Winter Soldier. They did it with all that that whole little highway but scene. But like having using a darker one, a darker setting darker subjects since you've got Black Panther in his suit. Don't Winter, even go there. Well, go ahead and finish saying what you said. Winter Soldier's dre- dressed in, in mostly black, you know, in dark yeah. grays. Steve, the dark, like the lightest color Steve is wearing at the time is gray. So you're saying it looked better because of 
not so bright as yeah. colors. Since it's darker colors in a darker setting, mm -hmm. like the the stuff that doesn't work, your mind shuffles it into the back because right. it's clearly not it's not the high energy part. Yeah. You, with her, it's mostly skin, and then her outfit is all bright colors. Yeah. On a bright sun, you know, sunlit, you know, setting with other sunlit s subjects. So your your brain is saying, "Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that!" Well, and I know, I know the intent was to make it. She couldn't just be running, just as fast as a human. So they wanted to make it look like she's so fast she can keep up with, um, with traffic. Yeah. Which is cool, but. But when I look at it, it don't look natural. As it, it almost looked like she was glow. She was. It's um, kind of the same problem as floating. when Iron Man is flying, and when he comes in for a landing, where like no matter how well they blend it, you'll always know that they that they did a a, a, C, a digital double of him mm -hmm. because it's just like well, I, didn't, I don't really I don't have a problem with that. Well, um, no, it's not <laughs> it's not wrong. It's just they can do better. Yeah, which is, that's a good way of putting it because I was looking at when you. Watch this in the editing room. Some should tell them, like, this ain't looking yeah. good. You know? Yeah. And I, that's just me, though. I'm a perfectionist. Yeah. I'll be like, no, nah, I need to do that again. But of course, you can't always get the actors back. They ain't going to shoot that again. Yeah. So you're going to have to find a way to edit it better to make it look more natural. It, it but I was thinking, what could they put it on the treadmill and, I guess, have uh, – well, I guess that's probably – they had on the treadmill and they just put it in the scene. But they had – basically, they had it on the treadmill running and they had her – you know what I'm saying? Yeah. As they edited, they put the person on the trailer and running ahead of the cars. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. inserted it. I think that's how they did that trick. It don't look right. Yeah. Um, I'm on mind like how Flash do it, where basically he's a blur going by and everything is slowing down. Mm -hmm. I would rather see that. I think it's it's weird. They only ever do that for speedsters. They don't do that for people who are as fast as speedsters, but yeah. that's not their main But this power. would be... Right, she wouldn't be as fast as a speedster because she probably can run like you know eighty miles per hour, which is it's like a slow jog to a speedster. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, but it's like super speed is super speed, right? So it's like it's not like you know on the level of a speedster where time is literally slowing down, you know, around them. They're not dilating time, in, you know, in a yeah. local sense. Well, I always thought they just perceive time to slow. Time don't actually slow down. They move it so fast. They, they move. They, it. they move faster through time than everything else. Right. Yeah, it's just basic, like, local time dilation. Mm -hmm. But with with someone like Wonder Woman, who is fast enough that she's that she can move, like, as a barely visible blur to normal people. I don't think she's that fast. She but, is. Okay. Um, the, the woman can catch bullets. <laughs> yeah, which, <laughs> glad you brought that up. So they got the scene where the bullet go by her, and she catch it with the lasso or whatever. And I like that on track because once the bullet go by your head, you don't have time to turn and oh shit, and then catch it because I'm thinking like <laughs> that bullet. How long it take for a bullet to go by? It's we see it in slow motion, but they made it seem like the bullet's in slow motion. Yeah. Like your reaction time got to be way quicker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, my thing <laughs> it's like they trying so hard to be cool, my, but they ain't not yeah. paying attention to physics. I get they wanted <laughs> to do something with that shot and the lasso and everything. But after she doesn't decide to stop and catch the bullet or block it or something, yeah, once it whizzes past bullet, her that head, bullet's gone. Right, once it whizzes past her head, it's right. The bullet's gone. Yeah. You know, and um, she can see it in slow motion. But after she turn her head and then turn around and, and try to catch it, she have to do that so fast that we wouldn't be able to see it. Well, because like I'm reminded of that scene in the first Spider Man when he first realizes it. You know, he can like. The mood when uh, Flash is trying to punch him, and he watches it go in slow motion into yeah. the locker behind him. It's like she didn't realize she could she could do that. That's what it looks like at first. Like, oh wow, that is weird, huh? That's, no, I, oh wait, I need to. What I'm, yeah, I don't know what you're saying. What I think, and I'm, I'm afraid it's going that it, that now I'm not going to judge the whole movie on that, but it's going to be some style over substance going on mm. here, where they trying to look make it look so cool. The day, like, wait a minute, that ain't even possible. How that happened? <laughs> even if she was super fast, yeah, she would have to react way quicker than they had her react. You get well, like what I'm this. saying? Only way she could react like that if the bullet actually did slow down. The bullet never yeah. slowed down. She just supposed to be so fast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because her her reaction was way after the bullet passed her. 
after the yeah. bullet passes, then you react. Well, it's like, gone. And this is the problem <laughs> with that is like if you pack enough into that scene where it's like she knew how she was going to take care of that before she ever did, then you had to ask the question of why, right? Yeah. So like either she saw the bullet coming, knew it was going to pass by her like that, looked back just to check that her aim was going to be straight, you know. That's yeah. still that's a lot. Or maybe in fast through. motion, she just like did that so fast that we couldn't see. But like, but then you had to slow ta- time down so that we can appreciate the well, scene. Right, right. I got that. And then, but see, the way she did that, it's like that only tracks if the bullet actually was slow. Yeah. If the bullet actually did slow yeah. down, not if they just saw what she did in slow motion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it was reactive. You can't react. To a bullet because it comes too fast, you have to do it as it's happening. Well, like, and not only that, the bullet is accelerating in that direction. the The car it's going to hit is accelerating in the in the. Yeah, I know direction. that's even worse. So, like, you have <laughs> even less time to react to it. Right. You're now moving away from the bullet. Yeah. So, like, see, yeah, I know. Like, they trying so hard to be cool that they not they can yeah. ignoring physics. Well, okay, let's. That's a small nitpick. Yeah. But um. Uh. For us, what we saw, it wasn't much, yeah. you know. And I'm, I'm kind of happy though because I didn't want to, I didn't want to really um, get ruined a lot, <laughs> you know. I, I will say the one thing I did see that kind of bothered me. It looks like they're going away from having athletes play the Amazons, and they've gotten a few more models in there. <laughs> I could be wrong. They look like a lot of track stores. They're doing a lot of stretching, and they, yeah. I, I see a lot of. Uh, track athletes do a, a lot of those warm ups. Yeah. Like when I saw those girls that were, that, that excuse me, the, women that was <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, about to run. That and I saw a lot of younger women in the crowd. Yeah. And that's well, really see, weird. Zack Snyder's version of that, he got big, strong, which they're supposed to look like because in, yeah. in, uh, in Justice League, uh, damn. <laughs> 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 I mean, they, you, you know, Man. you. you, you you fantasize about being trapped on the Isle of Women, but <laughs> I, I don't, what's that uh, Futurama when they like, we want you for Snoop Snoop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to break your pelvic, boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he said, hold on, no more Snoop Snoop. The, the flesh the, is willing. No, he's the, here right, the soul, right now. The soul is willing. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the soul is willing, but the body is weak. <laughs> I can't, can't take it no more. <laughs> But no, but, it um, look, uh, you know, it, it looks interesting, man. Well, and no, like the reason I was saying that though is like, so they've got some younger women, which we didn't see in the fr- in the last few movies. Yeah, but there's not supposed to be any younger ones. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, they all they all gonna be gone anyway, and <laughs> and who cares? <laughs> it's like Fair it's point. like we gonna we gonna see them for five minutes. They get they get dressed up for five minutes, yeah. and they they're out. <laughs> but then we got the questions about um, which this didn't go there. I'm glad, but you know, how Steve Trevor back? Mm-hmm. You know, what's going to be the main? Leave plot? that one for the movie. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I think the movie going to be kind of fun, but I think a lot of uh, the action might, I might not be, you know, sold on it because yeah. we've seen so many action movies and know so many superhero movies that you got to turn it up a notch. And you're using a lot of tricks that I've seen to do stuff to make her look so cool. It's like, I, I, we'll see, though. We, I'm not, you know, I'm not jumping. And not to mention the first movie, Zack Snyder handprint was on that one. Yeah. And this one, he hasn't. He's not. So this is going to be without his. Well, and his, I heard uh, Patty Jenkins threw out a bunch of stuff from Justice League. Uh, uh, when she came, when it came to making this movie, just because she thought it wasn't true to well, I was gonna say not the story, but her the the, the action. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of the way the action looked was thanks to That's Zack fair. Snyder. I ain't gonna say thanks to, but I'm I think he had a lot because he, he produced it and he pretty much I feel like he helped because he was they was moving his Snyder verse. At least he had some influence, right? I, I feel like he had a lot of influence on that movie, and this one without his influence. The action gonna be a lot different, mm, and yeah. I'm not sure that's a good thing. We'll just have to see. <laughs> right, right, right. It, it's a, it's less than two weeks away. From, from what point, I see, so. where they showing us like this is cool, ain't this cool, ain't this cool? I'm like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> 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 but I mean, cool. I, you know, whatever. You know, because the swinging on the the, the lightning is yeah. it's cool. And uh, <clears throat> it's it's always weird to me when they try to do that with Wonder Woman when like the Wonder Woman I'm used to now can fly. 
Yeah, I mean, I'd rather for him not to because I remember growing up her not flying. Yeah. And I seen on Justice League, uh, the animated series, she did fly sometime, and then she ended up with a visible jet. I'd rather for her not to fly. We got too many flyers. We don't need her to fly, you know. Yeah. This one jet is stupid, but <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with that. <laughs> it's, yes, it's stupid, but that's my child. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <clears throat> because they had her invisible jet, and she was still visible in the yeah. fly, in the sky, which makes no sense. Anyway, <laughs> that's our uh, little reaction for the Wonder Woman. The Wonder Woman 84 opening uh, three minutes. Uh, so we're going to